Hey y'all, this is Jessie, and I'm coming on because I'm really, really, really worried. And I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I literally woke up out of the middle of my sleep, and I wanted to talk to you guys because I'm concerned. A large portion of the United States and other countries and states are women. And I just, it's deplorable and disgusting and ridiculous how women in this world are being treated. Like, absolutely. I think as a liberal Democrat bisexual atheist who's a woman at 39 years old in the United States of America, Florida, by the way, which is drinking haterade all day long, Thirsty bitches. <laughs> oh, sorry, I hiccup and burped at the same time. I caught air. Oh, but it's just ridiculous. Okay. If you're a woman in the United States and other, you know, countries and things, abroad, whatever, a lot of women in different states and places are losing rights. Or they're losing, might as well say losing their life in some aspect. Like, Kentucky right now is in the middle of passing a law, or they already did, stating that women who want an abortion, it doesn't matter if you're pregnant and want an abortion 20 weeks and less. You have to carry to full term because you decided to open your legs and have sex. So they passed this law. Women can't have abortions. And if they have and if they have an abortion or miscarriage or whatever, they have to do a funeral for the baby. The the fetus or whatever. It's like what the hell? Why does the government and a lot of religions and religious people think that they can basically control a woman's body and control what comes in and out of it and it's like what the hell religion is totally addicted to sex stuff and a woman's body or whatever but my husband my husband we've been together a long time he's an atheist as well and a democrat and i got one of the good ones y'all I got one of the good ones. His name is Jay. We'll be doing videos together or talking or reviews or whatever. But anyway, this is a different video. My husband, he's like, calm down, babe, calm down. It'll be all right. We'll have four years of bullshit with Trump in office. But hopefully, you know, Sanders or whatever will get in there. And then things will be, you know, but... It, it just bothers me because no one is jumping on the bandwagon to do anything towards men all over the world. But women are treated like crap. I mean, okay, Planned Parenthood. They're a good thing in this world. None of them should disappear. Planned Parenthood is awesome. They Yes, they do 10%... Um, abortions or something like that it's only 10 percent of all of it of a hundred percent everything else is like child care medical stuff for men and women they do a lot of good things but the re religious retards in this world or the republican retards in this world or people who think they should control everything want to get rid of Planned Parenthood okay so okay a man he needs medical help he's dying or whatever the case may be if you take away Planned Parenthood where's he gonna go how's he gonna get help especially if he's low income or can't pay the full thing or whatever the case may be he's gonna end up dying or getting more sick or whatever the case whatever happens a woman she's pregnant it was an accident, or she got raped, or molested, or whatever. She's going to end up being scared, confused, 
alone in her bedroom or bathroom, taking a coat hanger to her vagina and having a home abortion. And then be miserable, depressed, sick, and probably need medical attention. But she can't get it because of what fucking idiot government people and the religious people are rallying for to stop Planned Parenthood, to stop all the good medical benefits that these establishments give to men and women. Men and women. And children. And everything. So it's just ridiculous. But... Okay, I know a lot of you or some of you voted for Trump, possibly. We didn't. We didn't vote for Trump at all. And I know it's a deep, crazy conversation to have, but this is how it is. This is life. This is what we did. This is what we do. We listen to all the facts. We look at all the stuff. Sorry, this is what's bothering me. We, we watch all the things on TV or whatever. Honestly, we voted for Hillary Clinton, but originally it was Bernie Sanders we wanted. But he lost out. And begrudgingly, but 10% wanting to, we voted for Hillary Clinton. And now we get Donald Trump, the 10-year-old big baby, childish, won't show his tax returns. I personally think he 100% molests and rapes women and gets away with it for whatever reason. And people think it's okay. They don't fight about it. They don't argue, which I think is garbage. He should be impeached. They should be something very inappropriate and negative happening to him because we basically just put a fucking big joke, big baby, big ego, actor, reality star in the White House. Do you realize a lot of you motherfuckers just put a fucking reality TV star, big baby, ego, racist, homophobic, piece of crap in the White House. And you're fine with it because you want your guns and you want your whatever else and you want everything to go back to the fucking 1950s and 30s and 60s or some shit or whatever. People... You basically just fucked yourself over if you're a woman or a minority. Yep. 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 <laughs> but anyway. Oh, snap a doodle do. But like my husband says, we have four years of bullshit from a big baby with an ego, and he looks like a fucking Cheeto. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. I'm with full screen. Like, subscribe, follow, share. Talk to me on the social medias, ask questions and all this stuff. Tell me your opinion. What do you think? Do you like Trump? Do you hate Trump? Did you like Hillary? What's the deal? I don't know. Thank you for watching. And remember... Living a life in fear isn't living. Take care of yourself. Be safe.